Hello, this time we're going to talk about a uh, classes uh, and I'll show you how to implement tables and arrays that I uh, that we talked about last time and I'll do it by uh, showing you how to spawn different vehicles uh, with different um, parameters also we'll create a vehicle class to uh, store some information and uh, basically to show you how uh, to work with the classes. So I have already created a little uh, config file with some information about vehicles, um, with their names and uh, and some of the parameters as well. So idea is to uh, spawn a vehicle with the parameters and. Uh, to save it as an object to uh, basically access the vehicle uh, a bit easier and have some information about it as well. So what I'm gonna do first, I will create a uh, class for vehicle and I'll add some uh, functions to it. Uh, so what you do is you create a basic function and uh, let's call it create vehicle um, oopsie create vehicle uh, object and then we will need a vehicle as in vehicle id and then we also gonna need um, let's say it's position uh, position and and that and we're gonna return uh, self uh, also, we're gonna save the vehicle ID and position to the object. So we, to do that, we're gonna do self dot vehicle is equal to vehicle, and let's do the same with the position. So uh, that is gonna store that in the object whenever we create it. And now we'll just add some functions uh, that will uh, be able that we will be able to call for the object once we create it. So I have created uh, three little functions for the uh, for the class. Uh, one is gonna restore the vehicle, which is gonna fix the vehicle and set its coordinates to the coordinates where it spawned. Uh, second one is gonna um, second one is just gonna fix the vehicle, and the third one is gonna flip the vehicle. And don't ask me why I did it. But I just <laughs> that just came to my mind so why not flip in the vehicle because that's probably what you want to do every day in 5m why not anyway so now we're gonna create a little um, table called cars and that's where we're gonna store all our cars that we spawn uh, then we're gonna create a um, command Let's call it spawn uh, spawn car uh, function handler. And here we're gonna create our uh, our pad. So for that we're gonna need coordinates, uh, our pad coordinates. So for spawn chords, uh, I'm gonna use get offset from entity in word chords. So that's gonna take the coordinates uh, of the pad and just put 
tree in front of it, uh, in front of the Y in this uh, case. So uh, just to show you that, I will um, I will print uh, both of the coordinates, pets coordinates and these coordinates. I'll show you what the difference is. So yeah, and as you can see, uh, the coordinates are being modified depending on where I look, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Basically, if I look to a different, oopsie, to a different side, it is just gonna, yeah, the coordinates are gonna be uh, in front of the, in front of the ped. I have also seen there is a error in vehicle class eight, Oh, so fix we cool. I forgot to add that. Uh, so now when we got the coordinates where we want to spawn the vehicle, we're gonna add a variable vehicle, vehicle, and um, create vehicle, and assign that to the vehicle uh, uh, variable. Oh, and for that, first of all, we need a uh, name of the car. So we're gonna use uh, uh, args as a uh, name. Uh, our uh, vehicle name is equal to args one. So what comes? The first word that comes after the command is gonna be our vehicle name. And we're gonna just put in here, put the coordinates to, uh, put the coordinates to spawn ports, heading is get entity, heading of pad uh, is network, mm, I'll just put it to true, uh, I mean true, and I'll just delete the last one. So now once the vehicle is created, we're gonna create a vehicle object from the class and we're gonna pass vehicle to it as well as uh, spawn cords and then we're gonna assign it to a variable as well. Uh, vehicle called vehicle object object as in not uh, 3d word object but uh, programming object so once we got that we're gonna table dot insert uh, cars uh, vehicle object I mean one vehicle object so that's gonna insert uh, it to the um, to the table so we can access it whenever we want so what we also need to do is we need to so let's just see if it spawns the car for now spawn car Karuma. Uh, oh, I forgot to add self. Oh, yeah, I forgot to add local self. Self is equal to uh, empty array. Oh, yeah, so. Uh, the only thing I forgot to do, I actually made a mistake. I put get vehicle hash here, which is not needed, and I forgot to ask for the uh, vehicle model because none of the vehicle models are basically loaded to player's memory. So if you want to spawn it, first of all, you have to wait until it is loaded into uh, uh, player's uh, machine memory. 
and then you can uh, spawn it. So yeah, just add this loop, which I forgot uh, at first. So yeah, anyway. Uh, if I write that uh, spawn car Kurima, uh, there we go, it comes up here, which is great. So, yeah, now we can register another command, and uh, let's say I'm thinking now, should I try uh, register a new command for each of the car? I think, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, so let's start with the most interesting one, uh, which is gonna flip the vehicle, and uh, I'll try to make it to uh, flip it. Actually, don't need anything here. Uh, register command, we flip, and then I'm gonna. Oh, actually, I might need uh, orgs. So local orgs I mean uh, wait we call is equal uh, yeah we call is equal or to number orgs one yeah just like that um, so I'm gonna take vehicle by its ID in the array and I'm gonna assign it to this uh, by writing command. Uh, so now when I got the vehicle, uh, I'm gonna need to uh, create a local variable. Uh, let's call it vehicle object uh, cars uh, vehicle actually call it like vehicle ID probably oops uh, there you go mm -mm. vehicle ID there you go so once I've got that uh, now obviously player can write the number which is a bit too big so if vehicle uh, ID is more than number I mean amount of cars then vehicle ID is gonna be equal to cars so it's gonna get the last car in the array and do uh, whatever we do here so now, once I have that, well, I can do to call method uh, for the uh, vehicle object. So I just need to write vehicle object dot uh, flip vehicle, and that should flip it. So let's try doing that. Oh, why is that there? Get vehicle. Uh, Rotation. I don't know why. Oops. I mean, get entity rotation. I don't know how I forgot to do that, but yeah, that's what I needed to do. Now I can restart it. Uh, delete the scar. Karuma. Vehicle flip, and there you go. It flips just as we wanted to. Obviously, there's no really a way to unflip it now, but yeah. Uh, that's how you would use the um, class and now if I would like to uh, add the parameters that I added here to the config file what I would do is I would say we if um, uh, 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 if config dot vehicle uh, vehicle name then so basically if config for this vehicle name exists then I will check if I config uh, that and that is a primary color uh, primary 
color then so basically if for this if for this week we'll name a uh, primary curler uh, exists then we're gonna paint that color so to do that we're gonna say set uh, we call primary custom primary color uh, we call and I'm gonna create a new variable I guess color is equal to this and then color dot r color dot g and color color dot b and that's gonna paint a car like that we're gonna do the same for secondary color uh, okay <laughs> yeah i don't know why but my uh, visual studio code just crashed for some reason so yeah i have uh, created this then i needed to copy that um i needed to copy that for secondary color and then i could do the same for and then i could do the same for plate and uh, if plate then set we call number plate text we call and config dot we call we call name dot plate so that's gonna set the plate I also added a spawn amount parameter but I don't really think if I want to implement it because I thought about it and it's going to be a bit too much of a <laughs> of a thing for now I mean I can do it but it is um, I don't think it's necessary for this tutorial actually if anyone is going to want to do that or ask me how to do that I can definitely tell you just hit me up on discord on comments i will do that so um anyway uh what we're gonna do is uh spawn the vehicle and see if it works spawn cars and turn uh i don't think you actually added a color did it Let's see the number plate. No, it didn't. Uh, what is the problem then? Oh, yes. Yeah, so what I have done wrong was I just instead of vehicles, I put vehicle in there. So yeah, it's just bad naming. And there you go. It works now as perfect. If I uh, spawn in Torno, it is going to be these colors. And Kurum is just going to be random colors. And as you can see, Zentorno has a Zen. Uh, number plate which is what exactly what we wanted uh, to do what I also need to do now is I need to res uh, add commands to reset the vehicle and command to um, res uh, to fix the vehicle so to do that we're just gonna I'll maybe just reset is gonna be enough uh, reset And if I reset it, um, spawns in Torno. Oops, I called it restore vehicle. I'm so bad with names today. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what's happening. I'm just misspelling all the names that I created myself. That's so bad. So yeah, if I spawn the car, if I jump into it. If I crash it and then uh, say vehicle reset, it's gonna uh, fix it and reset it to the uh, to the 
place where it basically spawned at first. If I do it again, there you go, it's again in the same place. So I hope it was useful for you. I hope you learned something and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I think this is going to be the last video for the sort of plain theory of 5M scripting uh, uh, of 5M scripting in Lua. Uh, later I will start some new series which are going to be more practical and more uh, where you can actually do something useful. I will uh, tell about a little bit about uh, uh, how to work with frameworks like ESX, maybe VRP as well. I'll see how that's gonna go. Uh, so yeah, make sure you subscribe for the new series that are coming. And if you have any questions, just join my Discord, which you're gonna find in the description below. And thank you for watching this time.